Good afternoon. It is Thursday. Today is, uh, you can tell by the title, Flea Market Finds. Uh, got some stuff that we, <coughs> excuse me, picked up yesterday. Um, my wife's been off work for a couple of weeks. I took a few days off this week, so decided kind of on the fly yesterday, middle of the day, let's uh, run up to Lafayette, go check out some flea markets up there. One that we've been to, one that we've never been to. And then I got a couple items from uh, earlier this week where we went to another one. So we'll start with those real quick. Picked up a Dilbert Funko. If you don't know who Dilbert is, he is the comic strip character. Um, loosely based off of what corporate America is like. They had a cartoon that come out in the late 90s. I'm a fan of the comic strip, though I haven't read it in a long time. But it's very, very well done. So I picked that one up. I don't know if I've actually got that figure or not, but I seen it. It was a good price, wanted it anyway, and did pick up a World Series. There you see the official souvenir scorebook. Don't want to call it a program, but I mean, it's got a lot of interesting articles in here. There's your little scorecard you can do. Some real good articles, some stats, some figures, some ads from the time. So 1992 at World Series. Very cool there. While we're on the program front, uh, couple of programs that I picked up and these were all really super good prices today I got a program of the second running of the Brickyard 400 I pick up the inaugural programs when I get a chance especially when they're only a buck or two here or there but like this has the inaugural starting field the full field picture there and everybody else all the other ads of course, Gordon won the first, so it's going to be very Gordon-centric in here. There's what the crowd looked like on the first Brickyard 400. Just an amazing sight when you were there, but that is for the second year. And, of course, that is the year that Dale Earnhardt won. Speaking of, oh, nope, this is a 2001 Michigan program. This is the June race. And, of course, it's got the starting lineup card in here. Very cool. Just a lot of random ads few articles, got some driver profiles, that sort of thing. So it's always very interesting to go back to these older programs that of races that I've never been to or tracks that I've never been to. I've been to Michigan several times, just didn't go in 2001. And in that packet was, and you can tell the era, a CD-ROM, 2001 interactive race program. And then there was a souvenir special, special Michigan issue of NASCAR Winston Cup scene. So, and it just has articles of past NASCAR scene, talking about different things that happened during past Michigan races. Up next, our final program for the day. We spoke of Dale Earnhardt a minute ago. This is from the Spring 2000 Talladega race. Of course, Jeff Gordon would have won this race. I believe Skinner was second. Kenny Irwin was third or fourth. Dale was third. They, they had a, you know, those four were in the top four or five anyway. Kenny Irwin, Dale Earnhardt Jr. There you see. Got some Bush Series driver profiles. Talks about IROC. Got the cup driver profiles. Then your top drivers. Stuart talking about probably his rookie season in 99. A few more ads. Some oddball stuff. So these older programs do have some interesting articles. Different things. And then the final book that I picked up. From 1975, Heroes of Stock Car Racing. So there you have Richard Petty, looks like Fred Lorenzen, probably Bobby Isaac, and I can't tell who that car is back there. But uh, this is these aren't teammates here. Petty, this was before Petty picked up the sponsorship from STP. So this probably would have been 70, 71. I'm trying to see what Petty's sponsor is. Southern something. Can't can't read that on the side. But this was a couple years before Petty picked up the uh, STP sponsorship. And as you can see, like, there's Bobby Allison. Who do we have there? Um, Leroy Yarborough. Uh, let's see here. A.J. Floyd, after he, probably after he broke his back in that race. Freddie Lorenzen. So a lot of stuff. And this book was uh, has a copyright of 1975 on it. Looking forward to reading this one. Kind of seeing, you know how well the history i don't want to say how well the history is because that's going to be more up to date for the older stuff than what the current stuff is 
picked up a box of 1992 NHRA Pro Set Winston drag racing cards. This was wrapped up in a uh, uh, like saran wrap, so you couldn't look through it. But the boxes or the packs are not open. Look for hologram trophies. So I'm excited about that. Looks like there's not really any odds or anything, but looking forward to maybe ripping some of these packs up the road. There you see we've got John Force, Joe Amato, Jim Head, a few of the drivers of the day. And we'll probably do those eventually. And speaking of packs, there was a Ziploc bag full of 18 random packs of 96 Classic. So nothing big in this. It was only a few dollars. But hey, maybe I can put me another classic set together. Every pack will have a, a silver parallel card. Plus, there's a few inserts and short prints in this. So I'm looking forward to that. But I'm not going to do these on the Fast Pack series. Because if you can hear, they're bricked up a little bit. So this will be something that I'll do during the regular videos. Maybe we'll do like a Throwback Thursday. Where we'll rip three or four packs of those and talk about the drivers on them. And so forth. I thought this was pretty cool. This is the entire 1986 Star Wade Boggs sticker set. So if you look at the front, the back is blank because there's actually a card set of these that is red bordered, not yellowed. But we'll go through these. Obviously, it says checklist and stats and whatnot, but <clears throat> that would uh, probably be the last panel. And we'll just look at this, because, I mean, these are pretty interesting. Of course, Star made a lot of the early player cards, like Ken Griffey Jr., I think, has some Star cards out. Michael Jordan has some Star cards out. And these, <laughs> I just thought, were super cool. Got the little off-centered top to bottom, but just super cool piece. You know, don't see those very often. Like I say, it was a heck of a find. And they don't sell for a lot on eBay. I didn't buy them to sell. I just bought them because they were cool. Speaking of cool, got from Action 1995. Limited edition Bush Beer. Of course, David Green drove this car in the Bush Clash in 1995. And I like it because it does have all the Anheuser-Busch livery. And that was a sharp-looking car, too, that David was racing. I think I may have picked up one of these. But I picked up another one if I don't already have it. Steve Grissom, the Roddenberry's car. Then we got a Kenny Irwin, Winter Circle. Then we got a couple sprint cars here from 1997. One's from 96, one from 97. This first one is Jeff Swindell. Again, I just thought that was kind of cool. Because you don't see these out in the wild very often. And then the next one, the package I noticed was a little, has a little crease right there. But this is Mark Kinzer. But then when I was uh, looking at it and flipped it over, I actually signed it. So very cool. Nice little pick up there. And I don't know if I'll be able to get this whole thing in the screen, but this is one of these giant picture from Rusty during his last season. Got the stamp with the postmark from Homestead. For the last race of the season, Rusty's last call. Again, this was just a couple bucks at the flea market. I mean, it's, it's fun finding all these, you know, small little, I don't even want to call them treasures. Because maybe somebody's like, oh, I got to have this, got to have that. But they're super cool. And then coming back from the uh, flea market, there's a Walmart I like to stop at. Because unlike the Walmart near us... The Walmarts near us, there's multiple Walmarts near us, want to clarify that, that are rarely stocked with cards and die cast. This one, because it is in a little bit economically depressed area, people are more worried about buying food and clothes and gas than what they are die casting cards. So it's a bit of a honey hole for me to go to once in a while and, and pick up some things that I can't get here. So we got some uh, Wave 10 NASCAR Authentics. So we got this nice Kevin Harvick one can't remember when he ran that one, but obviously a breast cancer awareness car. But I've noticed they quit putting the Susan whoever name on the thing because I heard that kind of was uh, maybe a scam. I don't want to call it a scam, but there was some issues there. 
Then we have the Eric Jones Focus Factor with the uh, Petty GMS logo there, the vintage looking logo. Then we have up next, we have Alex Bowman. This was kind of a bright paint job. Of course, these were run at all different portions during 2022. So I am just totally drawing a blank on when most of these ran. Up next, Kyle Larson. Nice patriotic themed HendrickCars.com. Got a couple more here. But we just had a crash. Crash on turn two. Guess who? Joey Logano. The Verizon 5G network. And that I like that again. I like cars that have a nice clean gradient from their one color to another. We have the Chase Briscoe Mahindra tractors. And that looks like the old Juan Pablo Montoya paint scheme from uh, his Target days when he ran with Chip Ganassi at Indianapolis and the Indy cars. The final die cast that I picked up was the Ross Chastain Pitbull Can't Stop Us Now car. So I thought that one was pretty cool. I'm sure that one will be highly sought after. Did pick up the last box of 2022 Donruss blaster box so maybe we'll open that one tomorrow i don't know yet we'll have to figure that out and then i did they did have two markdown boxes of prism well they actually had about 15 mark markdown boxes i wasn't going to buy 15 of them but i did buy two boxes of wwe prism so we got a few more things to rip in the upcoming days weeks months i may have enough stuff here to rip for the rest of the year i don't know yet we just the room is getting smaller guys the room is getting smaller that's all i can say so anyway Fun little trip to uh, up to Lafayette, checking out a couple flea markets. One uh, had a lot of stuff in it. There, there was a lot of over. The last couple flea markets we've been to, a couple have had some really, really, really overpriced stuff. But all this stuff that I got today, I thought was a super deal. Well, obviously not the Walmart stuff because you're paying MSRP on that. But the flea market stuff, super cool. Great deals on that. Uh, Walmart stuff, other than the two blasters of WWE, everything was regular retail, but still some cool finds. So anyway, I hope you enjoy the video. Uh, let's plan on ripping one of these blasters tomorrow. Not sure which one, if we'll do the NASCAR, if we'll do the WWE, we'll think about that and sleep on it. But I uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks again for watching. Come back later for Fast Packs.